giant hole in radar coverage in Russia after the Ukrainian strikes. Over the past couple of months, Ukraine has disabled three of Russia's strategic radar systems. Recently, Ukrainians hit the Voronezh M radar of the Russian armed forces at a distance of 1.800 kilometers, breaking the next record for attack range. Three conclusions can be drawn from what is happening, says Ukrainian military journalist Sergei Oslender. First, the attack on the Voronezh M was proof that Ukraine really managed to increase the range of its UAVs to 2,000 kilometers. The stations that were hit could not fix the drones as they are designed to detect targets at a higher altitude. The second conclusion is that Ukraine blinds the Russian army, depriving it of the ability to record missile launches from important areas for it. The south and southeast direction is now blind. There is a huge radar hole thousands of kilometers away, the journalist said. He specified that the radar station in Amavir struck by Ukrainian UAVs scanned a very large part of the territories in the eastern Mediterranean up to the coast of Morocco. There are American aircraft carriers that are there permanently. In the event of a military clash, Russia will no longer be able to track the potential launch of missiles from this direction by the Americans in the early stages. The third conclusion is that Ukraine has begun to raise the stakes in the war with Russia. The Ukrainians cannot deliver either a nuclear or a massive strike on Russia, which means that these raids are coordinated with the Allies. Crossing the red lines, what will you do now? Well, Medvedev will write a post or Rogozin will threaten. But what are their real abilities? Oslander shared his opinion. One person has died, another is missing and seven others were injured after an explosion rocked downtown Youngstown in Ohio on Tuesday afternoon, officials said. The explosion occurred near the Central Square at the Realty Building on East Federal Street. The building houses a Chase Bank at the bottom and apartments up top. The area was evacuated after the explosion. The cause of fire is unknown and police are urging residents to avoid the area. Youngstown Fire Chief Barry Finley had initially characterized the incident as a natural gas explosion but later said crews were working to determine if there was a gas leak. Seven people were hospitalized after the fire, one of them in a critical condition. The body of the 27-year-old man who was an employee of the bank was pulled from the site early Wednesday morning, the fire chief said. One woman is still missing after the incident. However, her car isn't at the scene and she hasn't been identified at any hospitals in the area, so crews no longer believe she was at the building when the explosion happened, Youngstown Fire Chief Barry Finley said. Youngstown Police said, the situation is being actively managed. Structural engineers and Enbridge gas workers were called to the scene on Tuesday. The Ohio State Fire Marshal is leading the investigation.